there. So today I want to show you some hairstyles that I like to call mix and match hairstyles. Think of these as like a capsule wardrobe, but for your hair. So instead of mixing and matching blouses and skirts to make multiple outfits, we are going to mix front hairstyles and back hairstyles so you can put them together, mix and match them to create multiple looks for all of your vintage ensembles. The great thing about these styles is you can start off by just learning two styles for the front and two styles for the back, and then by mixing and matching, you now have four styles that you can choose from when you're getting ready. And over time, you just add a few more for each section, and that adds it to your repertoire. So think about it. If you learn four styles in the front and four styles in the back, you can mix and match those, and now you have 16 different hairstyles that you can choose from. You'll never get bored of the vintage hairstyles that you can do. So these hairstyles are essentially the half up, half down. They're separated from the front section and the back section. And even though the back section isn't always styled down, I still think it's considered a half up, half down hairstyle. And the cool thing is, is that you kind of have three kind of freebies, I guess, for the back style. So obviously just wearing your hair down is perfectly acceptable and a wonderful style to do. But you can also just simply add a hairnet or a snood. So you have kind of three already built in very simple things to do that don't really require much styling. I've done a bunch of hair tutorials on my channel. So most of the examples that I'm going to show you, I am going to just point you in the direction of those tutorials that you can learn from. I will actually show you how I styled my hair today. It took me less than 10 minutes. Definitely stay tuned to learn that if you're interested. But for the most part, this video is really just kind of here to uh, to provide you with some inspiration and that way you can build your own catalog of hairstyles. Now, I will say that not every hairstyle actually has a dedicated name to it, like an actual name. So some of these I've just made up names based on what they look like. So we're just gonna go with that. I do think that most of these styles are pretty simple and easy to do. I, I do recognize that there are a couple that are a little bit more advanced. So maybe, you know, if you're not, if you're, if you're pretty new to these, this, then maybe put those on the back burner for now until you get a little bit more comfortable. And these do, most of these do at least require an initial set. They do just look better when there is curl there. There's definitely a few of these that you can do on completely straight hair that don't have curl. Play around with it, see what works for you. But for the most part, yes, they do at least need that initial curl set. This first style, I just call it the twisted back style. I don't think it really has a name. I generally use hair combs for this, but you could use bobby pins if that's more comfortable for you. It's just literally a side part and then you just kind of twist your hair back. You can also do a middle part for this. This looks really beautiful with a middle part. So uh, again, it's separated from the front to the back. So you can wear your hair down, you can do something different to the back. But this is a really, really easy, simple style to do. And you just need hair combs or bobby pins. The next option is of course the half poodle. And this works really great when you are just taking out your rollers, you have all of the curls there, you can just gather it, kind of separate it off, gather it all up at the top, and boom, there you go. And this, again, you're doing it half up, half down, so you can do whatever you want in the back. You can wear it down, you can wear it back up, you can actually wear it with a scarf. You can wear a headscarf over it, works really well for that. This is a really great, especially for the summertime, I love a half poodle in the summertime. And next up is the half wave bang. And I recently, pretty recently, did a tutorial for this style. This is actually a pretty new style for me. I just kind of, 
you know, learned how to do it. I figured it out. And uh, I'm really liking it though. It's a it's a different look. It's a little bit more 50s to me, but I really like how it looks. And, and I, I typically wear my hair down with this because I like the fluffiness, but any one of the, the back hairstyles I think would look really, really great with this style. And of course, victory rolls are a half up, half down hairstyle. Uh, you can do modified victory wall rolls where they lay a little bit flatter on your head if you don't want such, you know, large volume. You can just do the one kind of pin curl on the other side and, you know, do a bit of a wave uh, on the front. There's so many options. Um, that don't always have to look exactly like the V victory roll. I don't know if I would actually call them victory rolls, but they're in the same kind of silhouette. And that's the, you know, that is a classic half up, half down hairstyle. And one of my favorite styles, which has really kind of become one of my signature hairstyles, uh, I just call it the 1940s half up, half down. Uh, it doesn't really have a name other than that. But this is a really great style. Um, it's one that I do quite often and it works with pretty much every single back hairstyle that you're going to see. All right, so now on to some of the back hairstyles. So again, in addition to the three freebies that we have of just wearing your hair down, wearing it just in a hairnet or wearing it in a snood, a low clipped pony is a very simple but I think a pretty elegant and classic style. I prefer to use a barrette, a hair barrette, rather than a an elastic hairband, but you can you can absolutely use an elastic hairband. If you don't want it to show, you can add a little bow or just a ribbon or a hair flower, anything like that if you don't want the elastic to show. But I really like how a kind of a long hair barrette looks. Um, gives me a little bit more, um, I don't know, more hair. I don't like everything just pulled tight back um, like that. But a low clipped ponytail looks fantastic. And you can add a hairnet if you just kind of want to gather everything together. Just use a, a bun sized hairnet um, with the clipped pony. And then of course another version of a ponytail is the twisted pony. I fairly recently did a um, I did this actually on the straight hairstyles, um, and then I did a uh, TikTok and a reel showing the twisted pony. This is again another just very simple way. If you do only have a hair elastic and you don't want it to show, this is a great way to do that. Is it just kind of covers up all of that elastic and it just gives a little bit of dimension and um, it's a little bit more elevated than just a straight ponytail. Next, we have the Gibson roll. This is always a great idea, especially in the summer heat when you need to get your hair up off of your neck. A Gibson roll is perfect for that. I have a video that shows you three different ways to do a Gibson roll, one of which does not require using a hair rat, but the other two do. And then I have a couple of tips and tricks in there for that. But I really like wearing Gibson rolls. Again, it gets my hair up off the back of my neck and it's just a really cute style. Here's another one that I do quite often. It's the, um, I just call it the three messy buns. <laughs> Because that's basically what it is. I separate my hair into three sections and they I just kind of put them in messy buns and then I just pin them together. I did do a fairly recent tutorial on that as well. But I really like this because uh, it does get the hair up off of the back of my neck, but it still gives some volume in the back. It's my hair is not completely, you know, slicked back. Yeah, it's just really pretty. And then, of course, you can add... A beautiful flower or any kind of ornamentation. You can actually wrap the whole uh, section in a hairnet if you want to keep it a little bit more um, kind of defined in there. But I really like this hairstyle and I wear it very often. This next one, I'm just calling it a hairnet chignon. And it's not, it's not technically a chignon, although the hair is kind of gathered under, but you're really just using the hairnet to kind of gather it all together in the back. There's many different ways that you can do this. I've done it with just putting, you know, kind of 
uh, bobby pins in the back and then wrapping the hair net around. I've used a banana clip to kind of give it a little bit more oomph and definition, but they all kind of get wrapped together with the hair net uh, just to keep everything in place. I wear hair nets quite often. I find them to be incredibly useful. So uh, especially in the summertime when I don't want my hair kind of frizzing out everywhere. Yeah, I'm just calling this the hair net chignon, but it works perfectly for any kind of half up, half down hairstyle. And then of course the classic chignon. And this to me is just, it's, it's simple elegance. Uh, I really like how the chignon looks and you can you can do just a simple bun if you don't want to do a chignon you could braid your hair and then wrap it around like a bun there's so many different ways that you can kind of you know alter and um, make the chignon just you know perfect for you and your hairstyle but it is a really great just you know kind of low to the back um, and there's just something to me very elegant about it Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I achieved this hairstyle, which I have no name for whatsoever. Um, it is just kind of sectioned, uh, three sections, my sides and the front section here. It is similar to this, um, kind of these two photos that I have, uh, where it's just the sides are pulled back with hair combs and and then the front is, you know, kind of pulled back and twisted and uses uh, a few of the the pin curls. So I don't really have a name for this, but it is, again, one that I wear pretty often because it is very, very quick. I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm not going to cut anything in the video and you'll see I think it takes less than nine minutes to do the whole hairstyle. So hold on and I'm gonna show you how I did it.
Hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I really hope that this video has been helpful for you to at least open your eyes a little bit about mixing matching different hairstyles and realizing that you can you can just create so many more hairstyles just by you know doing something different in the front and doing something different in the back and I do want to say that vintage hairstyling doesn't have to be difficult we don't we shouldn't have to be wearing super elaborate you know hard hairstyles every single day there is beauty in the simplicity in you know just putting a really quick five ten minute hairstyle together um, I know that the the initial part of setting the hair that's the part that takes the longest and is a little bit more time consuming um but that's you know that's one time a week usually and then you should be able to just put some pretty simple hairstyles the rest of the week so i hope that this was helpful in you know giving you some inspiration on on what you can do to put these together and start mixing and matching and creating your own capsule wardrobe for your hair thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye <laughs> <laughs>